Yeah, the, um, so, so the way Flex works is it's only in Seattle today. And what they do is they, um, just like Uber, there's an app that, that you know, delivers, can download, and then they get a message that says, um, we have a package that's for delivery and it needs to go to this address. And then someone raises their hand and says, I'll do it. And, um, and I don't know how the pricing exactly works. I think Amazon says, and we're willing to pay this much for that delivery. So I think what's clever about it is Amazon is always looking to cut costs out of the equation. And in this model, um, they, they historically for Prime Now, which is the same day delivery, have used their own employees that are working in the fulfillment centers. And I think they're saying, could we, could we figure out how to get that cost down essentially and build a, a, a higher capacity without us having to hire all these people? So, um, so I think that's leg one of it is just kind of a simple experiment. But then if it does scale, um, you know, I've long thought, and you and I have talked about this, with, with over 155 fulfillment centers globally, um, Amazon could effectively get into the logistics business in a much more meaningful way. And you know, there could be a day, Amazon has this model where they, they kind of test something and it survives or not, and if it survives, they scale it. And then the third leg is the weird one where they open it up to everybody. Um, so I could imagine a day where I could send a package coast to coast on an Amazon courier network. Um, they could effectively be competing with the US, you know, US Postal Service, UPS, and FedEx. Um, that wouldn't surprise me. So, so things like this flex are, are another kind of indication that logistics is very, very much on their radar and they're very interesting and interested in squeezing cost out of the equation.